you're going to have to explain this to me, potentially like I'm a child, because I never won an NCAA championship. I never won multiple NCAA championships. I never won an NBA championship. I never won multiple NBA championships. It's all I thought about. It's all I still think about. I'm sad about it. When team, and I think I know the answer, but I want to, I want to know the answer. When teams go on runs like you guys did, and when players win, coaches win, you know, a front office ownership wins. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes, people talk about the toll of winning. What does that mean? That it that that winning is that exhausting. That winning takes a toll. I I know that losing takes a toll. <laughs> I know yeah. that winning. Um, I thought you're gonna ask it in a different way. I thought you're gonna ask what it meant. But but you're asking it what? I'm when just they, gonna go back no, to that. Don't worry. Oh, you're you, gonna go back I, to that. Well, you said what you said earlier. I'm gonna go back to. It. Okay. Um, the toll that it takes. Um, okay, I'll give you a toll. This is just my personal one. We won it in 15. And that was, that was felt like a miracle to me, like a mir- like a miracle. I- I've never experienced them. I just thought the Warriors weren't supposed to win NBA championships. I grew up a Warriors fan. I just thought that wasn't supposed to happen. I thought, I, th- I just thought that wasn't real. That wasn't real life. So when Kerr showed up and we won, um, he had won five as a player and for him having done that for me just to be around someone that had tasted a championship actually gives other people confidence because it's kind of like i'll show he didn't say these words but you saw in steve a guy that's saying i'll show you how to do it you know uh, follow me it's not his he didn't say those words that's not who steve is he's very humble but for me as a young GM to be next to Steve in 15 and say, it can't, this guy's done this before. Maybe we can. And then we did. So we got that one. And then we lost the next year in 16 up 3-1. And I remember that was a Father's Day. And when you win a championship, you get, even me, hundreds of text messages. Like people you don't even know. <laughs> it takes days to, I mean, uh, hundreds when you lose you get like three like your dad and your mom and your brother sorry nobody knows what to say nobody knows what to say when we lost i went home and had a glass of whiskey and a grilled cheese sandwich in 16 with my wife that's it sat there um in 17 durant came JJ, I could have went to Hawaii and we were winning the championship. I didn't. When you get when you get to be a GM and sit at your board and say, if we could get that guy, I don't have to do anything. That was Kevin Durant. And the first year, you know how it is. The first year of a new team is always the best because everybody's in the best behavior. We won an 18 back to back champions, third one in four years. To this day in my life, I'm 48. We won the championship. I forget what night it was. My brother was there. My wife couldn't come because I think we had young, two young daughters and we didn't know if we're going to win or not. So she just couldn't make that game. I had, I had one glass of wine afterwards. We were at that Morton's in Cleveland. Been to that Morton's? You know where that is? Many times. Many times. Okay. Everybody's having a great, we won won the effing championship back to back. I had one glass of wine. I had the worst headache, migraine headache I've ever had. Since then, never, and prior to, we won the JJ. I'm in my hotel room. I'm not sick. I had so much stress. Why do you have stress, Bob? This is one of the best teams. What are you stressed about? I think we went like 15 and one, JJ. I think we were, and I'm sitting there. So you talk about a toll. That was my, that doesn't have to be your toll. What is wrong with me? Like, what is that? Because I realized we, we, the outcome for that team had to be a championship. So you say, well, when, you, when, you, when you're around such a great team, just chill out, relax. I took it a different way. I go, we cannot lose with this team. We cannot lose. If we lose with this team, I will, be, I will regret that. Like I will, 
you just can't when you have Steph and Kevin and Draymond and Clay and Iguodala. You have all these guys. You build this thing. The only acceptable outcome is winning. So when we did win, I think my body was kind of like had that stress so pent up. But that could be my toll, you know, and it might not have been yours as a player or anybody else's, but but there's tolls to the whole thing. You know, like you think even Draymond and Clay going through some of the stuff they went through this year. Those are dog, you know, that's what you want as a player and as an organization to play six finals, but there's a cost. It's a cost you will pay. You will pay that. You would have paid it, but that's the cost. That's the toll, I guess, from my vantage point. I really liked what Giannis said last year after they lost in the first round, his comments about failure. And I had a coach tell me earlier this year, uh, NBA coach, head coach, uh, tell me, you know, our expectations are to win a championship. But if we don't win a championship, and that's the only thing we focus on, then why are we doing this? The enjoyment of the moment, the enjoyment of going through a season together, the enjoyment of a practice, winning, losing, getting better, working towards something, it just can't be about the one thing, right? It's really hard to do. It's really hard to do. I know. It's really hard to do. But I I think about my own career, and your point about 15 struck me when you said that. That was felt like a miracle. I think as humans, we get we get so tied to expecting how something is going to go, expecting a certain outcome, and we obsess over that outcome. We accept, obsess over that expectation. Now, you brought up the the media. Did, that expectation wasn't there when you took the job. Certainly was there in 17 and 18, right? That creates the stress you're talking about. It just naturally does for everybody, not just how you internalize things or how Steve internalized things or how Draymond internalized things. I think it's just human nature. It's like when everything is so tied to an expectation. Go full circle here. It's part of what makes Steph, Steph. Because more so than any other fucking player I ever played against or any other player I ever watched. He's just in the moment and enjoying the moment. I don't know what his toll was. I don't know what his thing was, but I, I, can, no, he, I can say he probably was a better off than certain people. Yeah, but to, I have a lot to say on this one. I grabbed Steph because you know in the playoff games, the playoff series, you lose one and – you're losing the series and your season's over and then you win a playoff game and you're winning the championship. It's just these wild. So I grabbed Steph one time. I said, how do you do it? And I think we, 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 you and I, I should know better. We should be a little careful. Like, I don't think it's as easy for him as he makes it look because he's a human being and he feels that. And that's why I think getting that finals MVP was, that did matter to him, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that, but finally checking that box after having hearing about it, because you cannot believe something, Jade. You can, a finals MVP cannot matter to you. But if it matters to everybody else, you think you don't hear that shit? And so it's almost like, shut the fuck up now. It wasn't my goal, but it was yours, so leave me alone. And that's what the media can do, right or wrong. But to your point of the expectations and what Giannis said, I, do, I, I agree. I loved what he said. Because when we were, we were, Steve and I were talking, after Steve got his extension the other day, we were talking... And when we lost to Cleveland that year in 16, we were 73 and nine. And a lot of people said, use that word, failure. You failed. Your team failed. You win a championship. And at that time, I said to Steve, I said, no, 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 no. We get to decide what this season meant. Nobody else does. That record is not going to be broken. 73 and nine is not happening. Nobody's going 74 and eight. I'm sorry. I, I mean, you can tell me I'm wrong, but that's just not, I just think that's not happening. And it's funny because I got lucky and won executive of the year twice. I didn't win executive of the year when we had the best record in the history. I did not win it that year. And I'm so proud of that season 
for me and the team because what a that season was so fun. It was a pristine season, but we didn't win a championship. You failed. That's your definition of the season. That's not mine. And I think that's kind of what Giannis was trying to say was like, you can't, that's not how I don't put that on me, you know, because I know what I put into this and I put every, and I've heard Giannis is one of the hardest, if not the hardest workers in the NBA. So to tell him he failed when he poured it all into what he tried to do is a little bit like, that's your fault. And he's saying, why can you call me a failure when I did every single thing I could to meet my goal? And I just didn't. A failure would be I shortcutted the damn season and I was a bad teammate and I didn't try and I didn't care. I'll take that. Yeah, you failed. But to me, we get to decide, right? You get to decide. People are going to label you and your career and you'd win a championship. JJ, you deserve to win a championship. There's a great quote. You cannot ensure success, but you can deserve it. That may not mean anything to you or what, but like I sit here and look at your career and what you did and say, you deserve, just because I got one doesn't mean I deserve one more than you. And I didn't play, you know, I don't, do I deserve a championship more than Daryl more than these guys? No, they, they work just as hard as I did. Sometimes you gotta be a little lucky. You know, sometimes you gotta walk into a Steph Curry. 